Okay. Um, so today we're going to talk a little bit about why I applied to the UW Museology Graduate Program. Um, there are over 100 different museum studies related uh, graduate programs in the US. Um, this isn't saying anything that one program is better than any other program. Um, each of the, these programs have their own unique focus and strengths. Uh, and finding the right fit for graduate school is about finding the program that aligns with your interests, what you want to study and how you want to study. Um, so in this video, I really want to go over just some basic information about our program um, and then talk about five characteristics that um, taken together, we think make the University of Washington Museology program unique. So to start with the basics, um, we are two year full time uh, master's program located at the University of Washington Seattle campus. Um, students complete six quarters with us um, starting in late September for the start of the autumn quarter. And then that runs through the end of spring quarter and early June. Um, and students do have a break over the summer quarter between the two years. Um, we are an interdisciplinary graduate program, which means that we have students that come from pretty much uh, every major you can imagine. And our curriculum is really focused on the role and impacts of museums broadly, rather than a focus on a particular type of museum content, such as art history or history. Um, and if you're looking for more information about, uh, about that distinction, we do um, have a little bit more in that in the video about um, why I pursue a museum studies degree. Um, our tuition for this academic year, 2021-2022 uh, academic year, is $6,755 per quarter. So plus student fees, um, you can estimate that over the, over the course of two years, your total tuition fees is gonna be somewhere around um, 43,000. Um, we only accept a student uh, cohort in the autumn quarter. Um, and we'll talk about a little bit more about why we think that's important later in this. Um, but if you're interested in applying for the autumn 2022 enrollment, our application deadline is January 14th of that year. Um, there is a lot more information about our admissions requirements and the application process on our website. Um, but if you have any specific questions or particular questions that you want to chat about, feel free to um, send us an email or reach out to us before applying. Um, who we are. We currently have three uh, core faculty, including our director, Jessica Luke, uh, Mina, our, and two of our le core lecturers, uh, lecturing faculty, Mina Selva Kumar and Angie Ong. Um, they teach our core classes, uh, a handful of electives. They advise and mentor students um, and chair student theses committees. So those are the faculty that you'll work most closely with as a museology student. Um, beyond our core faculty, uh, we work with a number of uh, guest faculty, usually around 10 to 15, um, who are often working museum professionals um, who teach one or two classes in their area of expertise. Um, and then finally, we have three staff who support the program and students. Maya Farrar, our Assistant Director of Operations, Lisa Hayes, our Program Coordinator, and myself, Dylan High, the Graduate Advisor. Um, and then not picture on this page in who we are is our greatest asset, our amazing students um, who make this a vibrant learning community within our program. So I think that covers kind of the basics of, uh, of our program. Um, but now I really want to talk about those five key characteristics that I think um, make our program unique. The first is really our curriculum, um, which focuses on the differences that we think museums make in the world. We believe that the power of museums lies in the role that they play in learning, well-being, community building, and social justice. Rather than uh, our curriculum taking a siloed approach, our program is more holistic. Um, there are some museum studies programs that you might find that uh, where you go in and you pursue a particular track, like museum education or exhibit design, um, you know, and you follow a series of uh, predetermined courses along that track. Um, if you look at our course curriculum, we have classes that uh, integrate various aspects of museum work to examine how they can have an impact on building strong communities. So, for example, um, uh, you can see that we have courses like our 520 Learning in Museums, 
521, community engagement, 522, making meaning new mo models of museum interpretation. And you could see how these all could be kind of clustered or, or centered around some interest in museum education. Uh, or if you have an interest in museum education, that these could be of interest to you. But you can also see the ways in which a wide variety of museum professional interests um, uh, may apply, or these courses may apply to. Um, so, for example, you know, it might help you develop knowledge and skills around community and uh, communicating information with an audience, um, understanding how people learn in informal spaces, and ways to collaborate effectively to create ex these experiences that can facilitate that learning. Um, so you can see that this kind of bridges bridges gaps and goes beyond just um, siloed uh, areas of practice. Um, our degree, degree requires you to take 60 cre uh, credits, which includes 12 credits of um, required coursework, which includes things like our intro to museology class, our thesis design class, and careers in social capital. Um, uh, you would complete six credits of internship during your two years, um, 10 credits of thesis work during you know, the second year of the program, and then 32 or more elective credits. Um, so you can see kind of the bulk of the degree has this flexibility for you to be able to kind of pursue courses that uh, align with your interests. Um, so flexibility is kind of key within our curriculum. Um, you can also see in some of areas of our curriculum, the ways in which we place a value on how research and practice play off of one another um, and how we can use, you, where, how we need both of those to be able to achieve the impacts that we want to within the museum field. Um, so, for example, we have a specialization in museum evaluation um, where you can learn about how to collect and present information um, that can help organizations make data driven decisions. Um, so again, so I think those are the things that um, make us uh, our curriculum a little bit unique. The second thing um, that we think is unique is kind of thinking about the context of museums. Um, we're about museums, but we're about more than just that. Um, museums sit at the intersection of a lot of organizational contexts, such as parks, libraries, uh, community centers, um, etc. Um, you know, this is not to also not to mention all of the kind of organizations that fit under the umbrella of museums, um, like science centers and zoos and aquaria and historic sites and children's museums and so on. Um, all of these organizations are community-focused or community-centered organizations. And we believe that the skills that you learn within this program can help you pursue careers that may lead you into various organizations and contexts. Um, so you can kind of, I don't know. There we go. Uh, you can see this by what our alumni go on to do and how this degree um, helps them in their career. So, um, for example, one of our alums, Shin Yu Pai, um, who is now the program director at Town Hall, said this uh, to us, uh, to this day, the lessons that I learned in working with community, how to create a welcoming and inclusive space, stems directly from those early experiences with the organizations they came into contact with through museology. Um, so again, I think just thinking a little bit more broadly about um, what it means to be within a community-focused organization and um, how you can apply that um, in various aspects of the museum field. Um, and then you can also see that in the breadth of types of jobs that our alumni go on to do. So we have uh, alumni working in everything from interpretive planning for environmental consulting firms to um, someone working in inclusion and outreach with Pixar Studios, but it is this interconnected perspective on how museums and other organizations can make an impact that lends itself to this broader applicability beyond the museum setting. Excuse me, I have a tickle in my throat. <coughs> um, thank you. Okay, so the third thing I think that makes us unique is um, our people-centered approach towards graduate education. This is the core of how we facilitate the experience for students in our program. Um, you know, we recognize that every student is a unique learner and we encourage um, 
students during their time in this program to identify and advocate for how you learn best within our program. Um, that means giving you the flexibility to select the courses that are best suited for you. Um, you it also means working with closely with faculty mentor um, to help in kind of planning out um, that course selection process and the thesis work that would help you to develop your interests and um, push you to, to new um, ideas and um, uh, and opportunities. Um, and then, you know, working with me to locate um, internship opportunities and ways that you can kind of apply what you learn to practice. Um, we also, you know, work really hard to build community within uh, within our student body. Um, we're a pretty small, close knit program. Uh, each cohort is uh, usually about 30 students who move through the program as a cohort over two years. Um, so at any given time, we only have about 60 students in our program. Um, especially, you know, we don't have a PhD or an undergraduate component within our program. So it's really all about those 60 some students in our program at, the, at any given time. Um, we have events throughout the year, like our internship fair, we have quarterly student meetings, we have some student groups that facilitate um, events and opportunities for students. Um, and it really uh, provides an, a, a ground for people to build bonds that last well beyond your two years here um, and building kind of a professional network and community as you go on into your professional careers. Um, you know, said a different way, if you're someone that wants to go through graduate school uh, somewhat unnoticed, this program probably isn't for you. Um, uh, you know, you're going to get to know um, everybody within the program and um, all of the faculty will get to know more about you. Um, and, you know, being at the University of Washington, you do kind of get a little bit of the best of both worlds that um, you are able to access the resources of a large campus, um, but have the context of a small um, program and being able to, to form bonds. Okay, so that's three. Four is our place. Um, we are located in Seattle, uh, which, you know, if you look at um, the Institute of Museum and Library Science uh, data within our county, we have over uh, 100 museums. Um, and it's a broad range of organizations that vary on, vary on, on um, many fronts. Uh, there's, you know, art museums and science centers and large museums and volunteer run to volunteer run organizations. And there's public institutions and for-profit institutions and private nonprofit institutions. So you really get a, a, a good range and breadth of, uh, uh, of the museum landscape um, that is also pretty representative or at least gives you the opportunities to see this variety of the types of organizations uh, that you'll see across the US. Um, uh, so there's, a, and there's a lot of ways in which we work with these organizations through, you know, bringing in um, people as guest speakers to talk in classes, through course projects, um, through um, thesis work, uh, um, internships, and more, right? Um, we've, we've had the opportunity and we have um, really uh, great organizations that are, uh, that love working with museology students. Um, so it's a, a great learning environment um, to be here in Seattle. Okay, so that was for the fifth um, and final uh, characteristic is, um, is our program's goal, right? Uh, which uh, we aim to make museums more inclusive, welcoming and equitable organizations. Um, you know, and we think about this in, in various different ways, but um, you know, one thing that we um, do, uh, you know, do see is that we want to um, diverse, diversify the workforce. Um, we want to attract a diverse uh, student body um, with a variety of life experiences and students who can help elevate the voices of communities that have not been given a voice within our society. Um, you know, we uh, we recognize and um, uh, talk about and within the context of this program about uh, how this field is built on a colonial white supremacist foundation. And we want students to be able to 
learn about and understand that history, but um, so you can take it a step beyond to see how can we, um, now that we know this, you know, how do we museum move museums forward? Um, and you can see, you know, how students go about this um, in various ways, but one, um, uh, one way is kind of looking at student thesis work. Um, we've had students that have examined approaches to queer history and historic houses, um, feelings of inclusion and exclusion for black and brown students in museums, um, decolonizing natural history museums through volunteer engagement, um, and, and uh, a, a lot more. There's, um, you can see uh, the range of um, thesis work that our students do on our website. Um, you know, we also, uh, you know, it also shows in things like our paid internship um, pilot program, where um, we recognize that unpaid internships are uh, a barrier for people entering the museum field. So we launched the paid internship program to address this issue. Uh, we saw this as an opportunity, first and foremost, to be able to support students, but also to start a conversation uh, within an, our community about um, paid internships and uh, within this field and to see how that I may change the relationship between organizations and students. Okay. So a quick recap. We talked about five key characteristics, um, our curriculum and focus on museums, how museums can have a positive impact. We talked about um, our perspective on museums as a part of an ecology of organizations that are community focused and how those skills can be applied to various contexts. Um, we talked about our people-centered lens um, we talked about our place here in Seattle, and then our goal to make museums more inclusive, welcoming and equitable organizations. Um, again, that was a lot of information. Um, if you do have questions, um, you can always go back and check out a little bit more in detail about um, any of those things on our website, or you can always send us an email at um, the uwmuse at uw.edu um, for more information.